Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today is October Patch Day. You're all probably used to this by now. Both Microsoft and Adobe release patches on the second Tuesday of every month. So this video is going to be really short. The long story short is if you use any Windows or Adobe products, you need to check these advisories and go get patches for the related software. But let's go into a little bit more detail. Microsoft released updates for all versions of Windows, whether they're client or server versions that are currently supported. They also released updates for Internet Explorer and their new Edge browser, as well as for Exchange Server and Office. If you use any of those Windows products, which most of you will, you want to go and get the updates as soon as you can. Some of these updates include fixes to several vulnerabilities, some of which are pretty serious, so go get them. On top of that, Adobe also shares Microsoft Patch Day. The most important product you need to worry about is Adobe Flash, because because lots of users tend to install Flash on their system. In fact, some versions of Windows also come with Flash. But Adobe also released updates for some of their less common software, including things like their communication suite, digital editions, something called Framework, and one other product as well. So be sure to check out Adobe's page to get their latest bulletins. As always, for client-based updates, things that just affect everyday users, or simple client-based software like Adobe products, I recommend you set their automatic update program to just go ahead and download and install these updates for you. As long as there's no reboot involved, there's really no issue in most cases with just automatically updating client software. Now, Windows products are a little trickier. I do recommend that normal desktop users receive the updates as soon as they happen. That said, production server updates are a little more tricky. I do recommend you actually test those updates before deploying them to production servers. In any case, it's another exciting Microsoft and Adobe patch day. Be sure to get those updates as soon as you can. I do know, at least for me, that patching kind of is this thankless job. It's unending, it keeps happening. It's one of the more unsexy tasks that IT administrators have to do, but it is critically important. As often as patch day comes and goes, the act of patching is one of the best things you can do to secure your network. Most of the exploits out there are old, so keeping up to date with patches really is an important thing to do at your organization and it will keep you safe. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.